and, and there's, I think all of us need to, we talk about preaching in the choir. Right. I, I, well, it's preaching sort of a choir. curse. Yeah. Sort of a curse. I work with people that don't know anything about anything I know. Um, <laughs> and they, yeah. they are activated post Trump. Um, you know, my manager that never voted and my co-worker that's a millennial and wants to run for city council now, which one would think was motivated by Bernie, yeah. but she's a whole lot. Mm. But um, she she's, you know, heartbroken all the time and she's... Um, meanwhile, I'm working with her and I was in Philly and I... Know, all this stuff, and I occasionally bring up, you know, groups like the progressives or Truth Against the Shame, and these people have no idea what those are. So they have yeah. this. So it's like, what good does it do? I mean, if you want views, you know, like you mentioned, Truth Against the Machine. You, you can invite Jordan Sheridan, right? You can get your views. Meanwhile, Jordan is like, I, you know, I want to talk about stories that are going to get no views. <laughs> Local stories that no one cares about. No one's following. No one's reporting. They get no views. And that's, that's, a, that's a brilliant perception because the reason they're not getting any views, these are very important local issues. Local issues are essentially rising from the bottom up, right? Because mm -hmm. we always go from the top down, but that's, it seems counterintuitive, but it's brilliant because the only reason they don't have views is, is because people don't realize they're super important. They're getting buried, they're getting ignored. So by educating people through these stories that are getting a minuscule view from the latest progressive celebrity, right? Again, this is not anti-progressive celebrity, the point is, we're, that's our focus is, hey, I want to interview another progressive. Wait, what? You're preaching people, to the choir. The people that created, the, the real people that created this problem um, and that have the real power, the, the masses <laughs> that mm -hmm. Bernie did activate most of, um, and, all, and then all the people that didn't vote, which is the real problem. What good does it do? Yeah. If, if they can't hear what you're saying, you're right. just like screaming at yourself. You might as well just be looking in the mirror, pulling your hair off. Right. Um, you, you make an excellent point. And, and really what we're talking about now is sort of a splinter because in, the, in one of the batshit crazy things that uh, is happening in the progressive movement is this uh, a war between dim enter and dim exit, right? And really dim enter is sort of what we're talking about. These are people who are strategically saying Hey, we need we need to we need to take over the choir. We need to take over a different choir because we're talking amongst ourselves. I want to go in and da 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 da. That's valid. It's not the only way. You could be dim. You could be dim accent and go. Hey, we want to we want to change the forces from outside. And you can also be dim enter and say we want to change from the inside. You know why I know this to be true? Because you fucking wanted to vote for Bernie. Every one of you dim enter and dim exit people who are fighting with the other side are fighting against yourself. Because Bernie said, not me, not us. He wanted to rally a bunch of people because, hey, change does not come from the top down, it comes from the bottom up. So that's dim exit, to rise the people up. And then while he was going to work from within the system as a Democrat to change it from within. So they're not mutually exclusive. You can have forces inside and outside going towards the goal. And if somebody thinks one way is the only way, you've missed a point. So- we have to have voices from the right. inside and the outside working right. for theoretically the same basic goal, which is- Look, Can we just have common sense, stop fighting? And to go to your point about um, preaching to the choir, that's all progressives are doing. Right now, we're forming these coalitions of us. Like, like I, I out inter there, door to door, like talking to like real people, the people that you may not even be able to deal with emotionally, but just talking to each other isn't isn't yeah it's not happening. It's and this is controversial, but we sort of 
we sort of need to get past post rallies and post marches. Mm -hmm. These are essential. These are essential to bring awareness and to, to, to form relationships and to form groups. I'm not discounting that. What I'm talking about is a rally and a march as the end game. Mm -hmm. No one is listening to these, none. Not Trump, not the Trump administration, not conservatives. That's the choir. So it's useful to collect and rally the choir and people who are you know, becoming newly awoke. But if that is the end game, worthless. So you need to take that coalition that you form from these rallies and from these marches and then do the next step. The next step is actually getting to the hill. It's getting to the other people outside of the choir, the Trump people, the, the hill bots that aren't listening at all to you. That's the next step. So these rallies and marches, et cetera, these campaigns need to be a starting point, but not the end game. They make us feel better because we're bringing people in. We got to get out of this me ship and, and to the us. The us is everyone else that we're not preaching to. You go to any random group that has any kind of a following, they're interviewing famous progressives, notable progressives in the movement, people who are already on our page. What, what possibly can that do in the bigger movement? We need to bring the Hillbots and the Trumpers on board. Stop talking to ourselves. And the people that didn't vote. The people who did and the people That's who didn't the vote. Largest group of people out there is right. the people that have never voted. The right. That didn't vote for this election. I do not understand why for 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 all Republicans, yeah. for Democrats, for progressives, for Green Party. Green Party, I think, is focused on that. They just yeah. don't have the, the, they don't have Bernie power. Right. But but um, that's why yeah. is yeah. that the focus? Yeah. I mean, if you want views, like so everybody's given up on that. I mean, Republicans don't want the masses to vote because the right. masses aren't Republican. Absolutely. The masses aren't conservative. So there's a movement there that's gerrymandering. That's all right. of that. But, but, but that means all the rest of us are on the same side in getting more people to vote. Right. Right. Why aren't we doing that? Absolutely. I mean, the people who we do vote... do it like in the three months before an election and that's it. Right. We, we, we have to educate the people who aren't already educated. And yeah. we, need to, we need to cross those lines. Meanwhile, there's these huge groups of basically neoconservative Democrats calling themselves progressives right. trying to do like Bernie speeches and it's like a embarrassing joke. yeah like a All tax people march people are coming up and they're like pink little pussy cat hats and, right. they're, and they're going you know yay 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 and it's yeah. like and these aren't progressives yeah we need to actual progressive stop talking to yourselves stop preaching to the choir we got it we're on the same page okay talk to the people you want to convert who don't believe in your religion who don't know anything. Who don't know anything. That's the majority of the people. They That's the majority of the thing. people. They don't know that the politicians are, are not voting in our interests. They don't even vote. They. It's like this is the vast majority of people that you walk by every single day. And there's no reason you can't just have a conversation. While you, while you are spending your majority of time trying to get views, talking to progressives who are already on your train, who already voted for Jill Stein, already voted for Bernie, already voted for somebody else because they're awake in their perception. We had the lowest voter turnout in 20 years. Keep talking to the, the people. the population is bigger. Keep talking, to the pe <laughs> keep talking to the people who voted and guess what's gonna happen next time? It'll be the, it'll be the lowest voter turnout in more than 20 years. And it's not millennials. It's it's across all age age ranges. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you got a little Lucy, you got a little explaining to do. Turn yourself off. Talk to people that you shouldn't talk to. Stop talking to ourselves and you're going to be on the right path. You know why we know that? Because Bernie did that when he first started his campaign because he was talking to people who had no clue what the hell he was talking about. And guess who those people were? All of us.
Now, if you want to carry that on to the next level, stop talking to Bernie converts. You need to talk to people just like Bernie did to convince you to jump on his train. Talk to people who aren't already on the train. This is the cynical progressives, B and C. Ciao.